Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Is footy slowing down? I want to take a talk. Ooh. Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about today if footies is slowing down because our content yesterday on Monday was quite slow, right? I was kind of expecting a bigger day with SBCs, maybe a player pick vote, maybe a close call SBC. And we literally had nothing. We had a 92 plus player pick. I guess it's not nothing, but we had a 92 plus player pick that honestly is a bit overpriced. And it's a gamble SBC that a lot of people are going to go and do at this stage of the game. And even myself, I did it because, you know, we have coins to do it at this stage of the game and it's fun to try. But in all reality, it's not that great of value. And that was our only content yesterday besides a pack supply SBC. So just very, I guess, confused. Um, I know EA put a lot of content out over the past couple days, and maybe that's why they're slowing things down. But is this maybe just pushing us towards the end of footies? And are they going to keep it kind of slow this week? I'm really not too sure. I'm really, I guess I'm really curious to see how today goes on Tuesday to see if that is kind of the path they keep going, or if they kind of fix it up and um, drop some other insane content later on this week. But again, that 92 plus player pick is what we have to talk about because that was the big content from yesterday. 154,000 coins to do this SBC. And to be honest, a lot of people that I saw opening these did not get 154K worth of value back. But there was also some people, I'd say like maybe a 30, 70% um, like a percentage of people that got something good, 30%, 70%. That it was not worth it right at 150k especially right now with everything being so cheap you have to pack a really nice card to make it quote unquote worth your value to get a player back from that sbc that is more than the sbc's price so 155k i think is a little bit overpriced and 88 squad was too much 76 percent downvoted for very good reason now i actually did it and i packed pogba um and one of the most interesting things from that sbc was actually yesterday, Richarlison, I don't know if you saw this, he's not number one on Footbin anymore, but this Richarlison card was number one on Footbin like all day, right after the content drop, he went straight to number one. From what I saw, it looked like his card, this Richarlison Summer Stars item, for some reason, was like super duper packable. So many people were packing this Richarlison card yesterday because of how many people were searching him, and the ones that we opened, there were so many Richarlison's popping up in the player pick. So it's very interesting to see that his price really hasn't dropped that much. Um, you'd think that if he was getting packed a ton, people would sell him off, but he really didn't drop that much at all. So that was interesting to see. Saw a lot of people packing Pogba like I did. Some people got 99 Messi's. We packed a 98 Messi. So there definitely was potential to pack some cool stuff from that SBC. But most people, again... I just, it was just hard to get your value back from that SBC, unless you really were just going for the gamble. A lot of people didn't make their money back, but it was a fun one, right? It's a fun gamble SBC at this time of the year. GG's, I guess, for EA to dropping that, but that's our first Monday that we did not get a league specific player pick, right? Because we've gone all through the leagues and that makes us wonder what's going to happen today. What's going to happen today on Tuesday? Because usually Tuesday is our weekend league plus requirement day. Of course, we've already had the silver weekend league plus that was released last week, 14 days left on this one. And the league one weekend league plus is gone. So what I'm really curious to see is, is there going to be another weekend league plus that drops today on Tuesday that overlaps with the silver weekend league or are they just going to keep the silver weekend league by itself? And maybe for these last two weeks, they say, hey, you know what? We'll let you use or we're not going to try to coerce anybody into using anything else than just their best teams ever. Because right now there's only one foot champs that shows. But obviously with that weekend league plus objective being out, it, it looks like there's probably two weeks. My guess would be two weeks, maybe three weeks of foot champions left. But three weeks max, probably two weeks is what feels about right of weekend league left. So get your final weekend league games in if you're really grinding for it, if you really want to get them done and dusted or enjoy your final team in foot champions. Enjoy it as much as you can. Um, there's probably only a couple weeks left of that. But again, that's just kind of what I'm really curious again about today is since the content seems to be winding down, right? We didn't have a close call yet, uh, SBC yesterday. I was really kind of expecting Martial to drop. I was really expecting to see that yesterday on Monday because that is when we had Sissoko 
That is when we had that SBC dropping last week. Usually we have a player SBC on Mondays. Usually we have a player pick vote as well. We had neither of those yesterday. It was very, very quiet, which was very, very peculiar. Now, I guess you could also think of it in this way. There's so many players out to grind right now, and maybe EA is just kind of giving people a break and saying, hey, go do player picks. Um, because, you know, when there's no content and people have coins at this stage of the game with the cards or in packs, people are just going to go and do player picks, which, which I did. But maybe they're just thinking, hey, we're going to give them one day to kind of work on stuff. We've got Renato out. We've got Conte. We've got the Messi. So many player SBCs that are alive right now at the moment. Um, and that may be kind of what their, I guess, their prerogative is and why they didn't drop content yesterday. But I'll be really curious to see if Tuesday, if they step it up again with more footies, player SBCs. Is there anything expiring heading into Tuesday is my question. The 88 plus player pick is going away. That was repeatable. So last chance to do an 88 plus player pick. Um, if you had any interest in that, I, I don't know if that's going to be re-released. I feel like it wouldn't be, but that's just my personal opinion on that one. I doubt that'll be re-released. We still have the 87 times 10 that will be out another day, 14 hours. A lot of this stuff expires on Wednesday which is kind of interesting. A lot of this stuff is going away on Wednesday. So yeah, I'm really curious to see what Tuesday brings for this market. Now, of course, with that 88 rated squad being what people were doing yesterday inside of that 88 plus, or sorry, the 92 plus player pick, you even saw 84, 85, and 86 rated fodder just go up a lot in price for that short time period after 6 p.m. when people were going out and doing that SBC. Because again, people have a lot of high rated TOTS cards in their club from all the stuff that is in packs right now. And that's why you saw 84s go from 327 points on the index all the way to 424 now back down. But I think 84s are like 9K a card. Yeah, 9.5K for 84s, 11K for 85s, 12K for 86s. So that's why this SBC is a little bit expensive, right? 150K because an 88 rated squad, you still are gonna be paying a decent amount for those players who are even still up a little bit after the uh like ronaldo's sbc r9 4.26 mil that's up because he was 3.8 mil i believe yeah 3.8 mil a content drop exploded a little bit with the uh rising fodder prices with that 92 plus pick um so you know some of your higher tier middle tier fodder is actually up a little bit and again without preview packs as well the only supply that we have are these random pack supply species that we're they're putting out and with non-rares and rares being super expensive um, not a lot of people are actually wanting to go and do those because it's not really cost efficient to try to go do like a gold players pack SBC for the, what was it? La Liga challenge. Yeah. La Liga Tots challenge. They released yesterday, unless this requires silvers and I didn't look, um, 80 rated squad, like no, no shot. I'm doing this right now when 81 rated and 80 rated cards are at least two and a half, three K a piece, um, because of how fodder is and how there's low tier SBC requirements right now in this game. So that's kind of the biggest thing. And that's what our biggest question is. Were they taking yesterday off of content because they're trying to like wind the promo down? Or is it just kind of like a one-off slow day and then they're going to pick it back up today on Tuesday? Because with forgetting yesterday, content's been really solid. Content has been really solid over the weekend. Of course, you know the big player species that we had. The upgrade packs are good. Um, the 91 plus times five was kind of dope right? Even the 92 plus player pick today is a big SBC that a lot of people want to go out and do. The Nani and Jinyak showdowns, really nice. So uh, the Lingard was a dope SBC. So I'm curious to see if any of that continues today on Tuesday. And I think that'll kind of give us, I guess, a little bit of a pulse of where EA could be headed with the content later on this week. Now, some people have asked about objectives. I think objectives are, they're done and dusted unless they do like a really quick one or they do a milestones one. Um, I, if we don't get an objective this week, that would kind of tell me that I think uh, they're maybe going to do something related to FIFA 21 objectives. I mean, there's really not too much of a correlation there in general, but you know, with the promo ending, the season eight has got 17 days left in it. So I guess they could still put it in the objective side here, but I mean, maybe a transfer card would be involved because sometimes at the end of a promo, like footies is ending, right? You have an objective card that is in part of the footies promo um, that is released that kind of still goes beyond and is still available beyond the end of the promo. So I guess we still could get a footies objective. Sometimes we have a secondary objective card, but with Fati being out, 
I'm not really sure. I'm just really, really confused why we don't have one of those close call, right? I was really expecting Martial. And it, one of the things that's very interesting as well is not just Pogba was being packed a lot from that 92 plus. Um, Pogba, the um, Rashford Tots card, and um, there was another Manchester United item that were getting packed a decent amount. Um, you know, I didn't see any Bruno Fernandes Tots cards. Juan Bissaka we got from one of those. So, you know, it seemed like they were kind of maybe juicing the, the, the GGMU cards a little bit out of that 92 plus player pick. I really still feel like Martial is going to get his SBC. And I feel like he's got to be the next close call item to get one. We've had a Lingard SBC recently, right? If they're juicing some of the GGMU cards, you know, maybe you Man U fans are going to hit the jackpot with a Martial SBC soon. I feel like that has to be coming, right? So that's why I keep talking about that. But I think the close call SBC is what we expect soon, right? Because we've only had one of those and uh, we need to have some more. That's my opinion completely on that one. We have no new pack code tonight. So if there's anything else that is dropped, um, we'll tweet it out, of course. Make sure to follow over on Twitter. Links down below. Check out all the links, right? Get prepared for FIBA 22. A lot of stuff coming on that. So yeah, man, that's kind of the video for today, bros. It just, I'm, I'm curious as to whether yesterday on Monday, was a slow day of content because they're trying to wind this promo down or are they actually just kind of, you know, pausing for one day and it was just whatever their schedule is, they're going to start picking it back up again today, tomorrow. But usually the second week when it's a two week promo is a bit quieter, especially if they're trying to lead into something else. Again, the thing that I, we talked about yesterday's video too. The only one thing that I could think might be coming after footies would be the preseason promo. So Maybe we'll start to hear some information about that. Maybe a loading screen later on this week. But um, other than that, I mean, what comes after footies is probably going to be irrelevant unless it, it involves FIFA 22 objective rewards or FIFA 22 packs or some sort of rewards FIFA 22 related. I, in my opinion, I think it's just not going to be super duper hype. So that's kind of the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.